Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to talk about pens. Yeah, I've been kind of going crazy with pens. Stay tuned. I basically can't stop printing these things. <laughs> these are so much fun that I have an entire bag full here. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can see that. That should be visible in your view there. Maybe over here. There we go. Yeah. I've kind of been going a little crazy with these. <laughs> uh, this is fun. When you guys when you guys see to play with this, this is fun. So this is a bolt action pen. Bolt action is pretty neat as far as ballpoint pens go. But um, one of the big things is that they're simple. It's actually a very simple mechanism. The You just have a spring in the front, and then you have a J-hook shaped slot here, and you simply push down and to the side, and like a bolt action rifle, it locks into place, and now your pen is sticking out the bottom. And you flick it to the side, and it pops back up from the spring, and it's retracted. So it's a surprisingly simple and robust, very 3D printer friendly, uh, method of making a bolt action pen. These pens are made by Max Steer. He sells the files, which are like six bucks, I think, pretty cheap. Trust me, you'll print five of these pens and you'll be paying a buck each and then everything after that is free and you're going to very much enjoy it just like I am. These are fun. Um, they use, um, he also sells completed pens. So if you want a really nicely done pen, he also sells them as well. Nice exotic colors, like the protopasta ones are really nice. Um, like 20, 30 bucks, something like that. And um, everything on this is 3D printed, nothing is glued, with the exception of course the pen and spring and a single M3 8mm bolt that goes through the carriage inside here. I can show you that. So here is the carriage inside. You can see there's a little bolt going through there. Well that goes all the way through and it sticks out the other end and then the little ball of your bolt action there screws threads right onto that. So you thread the bolt through first to cut the threads into the plastic. You then slide this inside the pen, put the bolt through this access hole on the back, and it pops out the J-hook hole on this side, and then this threads in place. Then you also have a cap, a decorative accent cap, that screws onto the top. You can print one solid, or you can print one with a clip. So you can have a little pocket clip for your pen and then you also print the front, which is this piece. And that screws onto the front, the threads are all built in. And then there's two accent rings. You can see a good example of that here. You can see the two orange rings, okay? So what I've been doing is I've just been printing all the parts in one color. And then I print all the parts in the second color, and then I swap parts. I just take the accent rings and swap them between the two. And so you get yeah, a good combination here was these two were the same two colors. So you can see I just took the the peach accent rings from this one and put it this one. And I took the blue accent rings from this one and put it this one. I believe this is um I can't remember who makes this filament. It's um Peach Passion. I don't remember the name. This is Taiwanese Aqua, I think. Or yeah, it's, it's a Taiwanese color. And then I have, um, this one here is, it's a silk, oh, um, E-Sun E-Silk Blue and Atomic Filaments Ultra Orange. This is, um, oh, what's the name? 3D print work. I think I'll have a link down below, but I think it's 3D print work. They sent me some of their wood filament. This feels nice. The wood feels really cool. I can't wait to try to stain this. And a little pro tip for you. I wanted to have a contrasting color for the wood. I found an easy way to do that. I can actually show you the taking apart parts. All I did was take the wood print accent ring and I took a Sharpie to it. And so now it's a contrasting color. This works great for light color filaments. 
you just take a sharpie and color the accent rings and now you're you have contrasting accent rings same thing with the ball I just hit it with a sharpie um, here is the inverse of that orange one I showed you so this is the eSun eSilk blue and the atomic filament ultra orange um, JG maker sent me some of their filament so that is the red here he also made a bunch of these in different designs so here is the different designs he made uh, basically patterns on the pen itself don't there get me focus there you see you got vertical lines horizontal ribbing vertical ribbing um, dimples like a golf ball spiral cut and accent rings very 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 cool different designs and you get all of this when you pay for the one file um, it's on my mini factory and gumroad I'll have links down below of course um, I don't get nothing from that but that's okay he deserves everything these are great then we have some of another orange I'm not sure what orange this is it's not the atomic because that's the atomic um, I also have some filament filament one glint gray and glint blue these also came out really nice I like them a lot uh, this is some um, Prusa pearl mouse that's a nice subdued color that's not bad and I love this this is that um, gold translucent champagne color filament that I got off eBay. I really like this color. It's got a nice color to it. Some Alien 3D Probe Green PLA from IC3D in Ohio. That came out really nice. Um, this is uh, this is NGen. Uh, all of these were printed on the King Rune. Yeah, that little $140 dinky little printer. Yeah, all these are printed on the King Rune. This is NGen Lux. They're gold. I always get that backwards. Very, very nice. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, this is. I think this is either Color Thread or Arion Silk, or Copper Silk. So this is a copper filament. It looks really nice with the orange. I like that a lot. And a couple other random colors and more of the pieces. So you can see this accent cap has the slot built into it. And you can take your clip and it just friction fits into the slot. Add a little dab of glue and you'll be good to go. And because these use a standard refill, you can um, change it at a later point which one has the pen in it oh, here it is. this one has the pen in it so it uses a standard pilot g2 refill which is really nice i like the pilot g2 pens they're like the cat's meow of low cost pens um, don't buy the refills buy the pens they're about 11 bucks for 12 of them about 11 dollars 40 cents for 12 of them and that because you also need the spring so you need the spring that comes in the pen as well um, also, if you want to go cheaper, if you don't want to go with the um, the G2 refills, if you go to Dollar Tree, you can get a four pack of just right um, ballpoint pens, one millimeter. Um, those will also fit. You just um, they're a little shorter than these, so you can either wrap a little bit of tape around the end of it to make the pen longer, or just wad up a bit of tissue paper and toss it inside there first as a spacer before you stick the pen in, and that will get you the right spacing. So the just right refills will work and do I have one with that that one has that here we go nope that's the G2 I do have one with the not that one not that one not that one I have one with the just right here we go, here we go. so there's the, the G2 refill and there's the just right refill as you can see not much of a difference it's a slightly cheaper pen, slightly smaller pen, um, skinnier. Um, it, it looks more like a Bic refill instead of that nice thick um, G2 refill. But either one works fine. And these pens are, they're great.
I mean, I, I love it. I, I can't stop printing them. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I have a lot of them. <laughs> uh, I eventually want to have like just dozens of different color parts and all things so that, you know, I, ooh, new color filament. Let's print a pen and let me pick out my accent rings that go with it. And um, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, he's also thinking about making a version where you will have a flat spot so that you can go into Tinkercad and add a monogram to it, add a name to it. And uh, I've already tested that and it does survive the, um, what do you call it, the decimation that occurs when you put it into Tinkercad and then export it back out. It survives, the threads still work, so you are good to go with that. They're fun. Check out the links below if you would like to print out your own 3D printed ballpoint pens. Of course, do remember, if you print in PLA, you do not want to leave this on the dash in a hot car or on a seat in a hot car. In the shade, you should be okay. But um, um, the weak point on the pen is the J-hook. So you have more plastic on this side than you do on this side. So the pen will warp away from the J-hook. So it'll warp right there. The rest of the pen holds together, but that part right there, this part here pulls and it warps that way. So don't leave it in a hot car or make sure you use PETG or ABS if you would like to have a hot environment compatible pen. But all the cool colors are in PLA. So. <laughs> I haven't tried to temper it yet. I'm thinking if I use like a Protopasta HT PLA, and then I put a like a metal aluminum shaft inside the pen that's a relatively snug fit so that the pen cannot change shape while it's in the oven, you can then anneal it. And once you anneal it, no problem. You can handle the hot car all day. Um, I don't know if regular PLA will anneal enough to handle a hot car. That might be a future video. I might have to test that because these were a lot of fun. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, the link will be down below if you would like to go and patronize Max Steer and purchase his pen. Uh, um, also, I think 3dprintedpens.com. I think it's 3dprintedpens.com is his site where he, I'll confirm that and put a link down below where you can buy ready to go pens as well if you would like. So, you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching and I appreciate your patronage. Thank you.